Hi everybody, my name is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and I'm an illustrator. I've been working in the industry for about 15 years and today we are going to build the Ark from Raiders of the Lost Ark, the Indiana Jones Ark. We're going to make it out of uh, some paper and things we have lying around the house, like a toaster. Okay, probably we're not going to use a toaster and we won't be using toast either, but you can make some toast beforehand because this is going to take a little while. You might want to get some nourishment. So let's jump right in and make the Ark of the Covenant. So, even though you're probably not Indiana Jones, you may like the Indiana Jones movies, except for the fourth one, um, and want, say, some sort of container that you have lying around, maybe for pencils, maybe for uh, important things like your checkbook or something, and uh, with a little quick um, bit of work, you can make it look just like the Ark of the Covenant from the Indiana Jones movies. So the first thing that you want to do is um, wrap the bottom part of this. Now, this is actually my X-Acto knife case but you want to wrap the bottom part of this. Uh, if you can take this off, I would highly recommend it. This one has screws, so you would unscrew these and just wrap the bottom part in, uh, say, yellow construction paper. And the reason yellow is because uh, the Ark of the Covenant, as we all know, was made of solid gold. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with biblical lore, the Ark of the Covenant actually holds the Ten Commandments, the actual plates that the Ten Commandments, the stone tablets the Ten Commandments were uh, inscribed on. So. Uh, take some time and you can use some decoupage techniques if you want or you can just use some yellow construction paper and just tape it up here. Boom. So once you have your entire um, box covered in yellow, so let's pretend this is all yellow, uh, you, can, you can do that on your own. One of the main features of the Ark of the Covenant, of course, is uh, the angels that guard it. Now these are two facing angels. Um, it's very simple to draw these angels. Here you go. Do a straight line up and then this is where they're going to sit. So we're going to do a straight line across. This is, this is actually the top of where your arc is going to be positioned. We're going to put another line here for the head, and this is going to be the basic body position. And then the one in Indiana Jones, they have giant wings, so we're going to do a, a quick circular motion, kind of a, a little semicircle here, but then at the end we're going to extend it out because these wings are going to go over the top of the angel itself. And we're just going to do a quick little shape like this. Um, normally, what I would do is I would say we could fold this here and, and again I'm doing this quickly but you can actually get really detailed here and I don't think these are actually angels it's uh, some other sort of creature with a bunch of legs um, but you can get really detailed here and I would normally say that we're gonna cut along this because we're gonna fold it out and that'll give us two sides but the problem is that these wings come way above the head so if we wanted to get around that we could stop them at the head and give a, a little bit of a stylistic interpretation. That's, that's fine too. Uh, and then you can just fold it and cut this part out. Uh, and then what you're going to do, I would also leave yourself a base here. So leave yourself a base and we'll just do that. We'll, we'll fold it. We'll do the folded version because that's going to be a lot faster. We're going to cut this out. Here's our base. Just nice and straight. Bam. And we'll go up. And then we're going to cut out the wings. Now, like I said, take your time here and actually go ahead and draw in the wings because you're going to get a much more, um, I don't know, satisfying piece. Uh, I'm just showing you the technique here so that you can kind of experiment a little and go crazy on your own. Here you go. Bam. And cut out a little head shape here. And you can even get kind of like intricate in here and maybe cut out one of these legs and go across. Maybe that's some feet. And here's the body. Okay. We got the, some more legs. We're just going to cut this out. Make sure that you're using a cutting surface if you're cutting on like your dining room table or something because you don't want a bunch of holes in your dining room table. But then you can separate this, unfold it like that, and this will set quite nicely on top of your container. Now the reason that we left the little bottom part like this is so that we can cut it down the center, fold it, right along there, right along the, uh, the line, and you see we have a little bit of a foot section there, so make sure you fold that in nice. And now this will actually set all on its own. 
fold that in, and there you go. So there you go, is a quick little method that you can use to uh, make yourself a little Ark of the Covenant. There you have it, guys. Now you can reenact the entire movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, start to finish, because you have your own authentic little Ark. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank <laughs> you.